Hello, um, this video is just a short video to help you to get started on our grammar assignment today. So let me share that worksheet with you. Sorry about the quacking, that's my phone. Let me turn that on. Okay, we are ready to go now. Let's look at our worksheet. Okay, so we have been working this week on subjects and sentence fragments. So today you're going to proofread to correct some errors that were made on this one. So a complete subject is all the words in a subject. It can be one word or more than one word or a compound subject connected by and. Okay, so we could have a one word subject like Joe went to the store. The subject would be Joe because that's what the sentence is about. We could have one word like the beautiful tall giraffe was at the zoo. The beautiful tall giraffe, all of those words are part of our complete subject. Or we can have a compound subject connected by and. So we could say Fred and Lois went to the zoo. Fred and Lois would be our compound subject. A fragment, remember we said a fragment is another word for piece. So a fragment may be a sentence that does not have a subject. It does not express a complete thought. So it is just a piece of a sentence, not a complete sentence. Correct some sentence fragments by adding a subject. Okay, so here are our instructions. Let's make this a bit. Underline the complete subject in each sentence. For sentence fragments, add a subject, then write the sentence correctly. Use capital letters and end marks. Okay, and we will Make this a bit smaller so that we can see our lines that we are dragging over. There they are. All right. My class will go on a field trip to a museum next week. What is this sentence about? What is the subject? Right, it's about my class. So I am going to take a red line and I'm going to move it up to number one. And I'm going to underline my class. Okay, my line is much too large, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on the end and I'm going to move it over until I just have my class underlined. Okay, so this is a complete sentence, so I don't need to type anything here. My class will go on a field trip next week. Oh, I'm sorry, we do need to type here because we need to correct some problems. What are our problems with this sentence? Do I have a capital letter at the beginning? Don't. Do I have an ending punctuation mark? I don't. So I'm gonna type my sentence here. And I'm gonna start with a capital letter. My class will go on a field trip to a museum next week. And I'm gonna put a period at the end. Um, if I said, my class will go on a field trip to a museum next week, I might use an exclamation point. So that will be up to you. Either of those could be correct because I don't know how you are saying it. Okay, let's, you can do number two on your own. Let's skip to number three can see all kinds of things used long ago. Hmm, do we have a subject? We're saying that someone or something can see all kinds of things used long ago, but we don't know who or what that is. So I think that we're going to need to add a subject. So I'm going to say that the subject is I. I can see all kinds of things used long ago. 
I capitalize the beginning of my sentence and I would capitalize the I no matter where it is in the sentence because the little I never stands alone. And I used an ending mark period. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and complete numbers two, four, and five on your own. Remember to drag your lines up to where you need them and resize them so that they're just long enough to cover your sentence. Okay, if you if you want to stretch them out and make a box, that's fine also. All right, let's stop sharing this one. And that is your only worksheet for grammar today. So just complete those and you'll be finished. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.